Today, I'm going to talk about how to pay your income tax and get cashback and miles for your contribution to nation building. In this video, I'm going to share the basics of getting some rewards for your income tax, as well as share some of the good ways to earn cashback or miles on your income tax payment, and also share a way for you to get hacked so that you can get the best rewards from your income tax payment. So definitely drop a like on this video so I can keep sharing tips and tricks with you and also subscribe to my Telegram group because things can change all the time and you can get the latest updates as well as great deals over at my Telegram channel. In fact, I think my Telegram channel always breaks the latest deals first, right? Like this deal, this deal, and this deal. And it's also thanks to more than 15,000 people who have joined and actively share things like that when it happens. So yeah, definitely subscribe and I'll see you there. Now the first level and the most basic thing we should do for our income tax payment will be to put it on a gyro payment plan. Now, IRAS gives us 12 months interest-free for our income tax and we should definitely take advantage of this because our money can sit in our bank account earning interest and yeah, IRAS doesn't charge extra for this payment method. The easiest way to do this will be to apply for a gyro payment plan using DBS, OCBC or UOB and you can do this online and it's fairly instant from what I can remember. Now, which bank you use doesn't really matter because we are not going to use our bank account to make payments to our income tax because that actually generates no rewards at all aside from, again, the interest that we earn from our bank account, which we can also enjoy when we use other methods in this video to pay. When we put our income tax on a payment plan, the amount will be divided across 12 months and IRS will try to deduct the monthly amount on the 6th day of each month and we can actually pay off this payment before the deduction so that the deduction doesn't happen and then we make use of another payment method that earns us rewards instead. Level 2 requires us to have a HSBC Everyday Global account because this account can actually give us 1% cashback on gyro payments. First, you will need a HSBC EGA account. So if you don't have one, you can sign up for one with the link in the description box below. After that, we need to complete two very simple requirements and the first will be to deposit $2,000 into the EGA account and then the second requirement is to make five transactions. Now these five transactions can be as simple as transferring your other bank accounts five times. And yeah, that's it. We have settled both requirements. Once these two requirements are fulfilled, we have completed the HSBC Everyday Plus program and that gives us 1% cashback on the gyro transactions that we arrange. So if you are thinking, oh, I'll just use level one, which is to set up a gyro with IRAs, and then use level two, use HSBC EGA to pay via gyro and get 1% cashback, well, yeah, that only gives you 1% cashback. We should go on to level 3 and even level 4 to earn even more rewards from our income tax payment. At level 3, we are going to use our credit cards to make payment to IRAs so that we can get our card rewards. Now, the only problem is IRAs does not accept credit cards directly. And even if they did, because they are a government service, we probably wouldn't earn any rewards from our credit cards anyway. So how are we going to get rewards from our credit cards? The answer will be to use payment services such as CD Payall, CardUp and iPayMy to make payment with our credit card and from there, we can actually earn the card rewards. Now, these services charge us a service fee for using our card to pay IRS. So, the simple equation would be the rewards you get minus the service fee will be your net gain. And the way to increase your net gain would be to increase the rewards that you earn and decrease the service fee. Now, I've written a guide on how to maximize your gain from such services. But the long story short is you need to take advantage of promos to reduce the service fee. And right now, there are few promos because it's tax season. The service fee for CardUp and iPayMy ranges between 2.25 to 2.6%. But if you're a new user, you can actually get 0% on your first payment up to a certain limit. Check out the promo codes for your first payment in the description box below because you can get a free transaction. And then after that, you can use one of the tax promos to decrease the service fee. This video is brought to you by Weeboo, which is giving new and existing users great rewards for the month of May. For new users, you can choose one of three welcome rewards when you successfully complete their requirements. You can get US $200 in cash vouchers, US $650 in cash vouchers, or US $1050 in cash vouchers. Plus, new users can also get the newly launched reward called the USD Moneyboo Interest Booster. For my viewers who use my exclusive link to sign up and fund their accounts, you can get up to 8.4% USD money pool per annum U kept at US $250,480 days with estimated return of up to US $10,500. Finally, both new and existing users who have not previously transferred shares into Weibo can also transfer in US shares worth US $10,000 or more and fulfill requirements to get as much as US $2,500 worth of rewards from Weibo share transfer in due. So check out the description box for more details and thanks for signing up and thanks to Weibo for sponsoring this video. 
Currently, both Card App and iPayMy are reducing their service fee to 1.75% if you're using a Visa card to pay for your income tax payment. And that's a pretty good rate. If you use a card like DBS Vantage, which gives you 1.5 miles per dollar, 1.75% divided by 1.5 is about 1.17 cent per mile, which is a pretty reasonable cost per mile. And if you use something like UB Prev, which is 1.4 miles per dollar, 1.75 divided by 1.4 is about 1.25 cents per mile. Yeah, and that is a pretty low cost to buy miles, especially if you like to travel via business class. For cashback, you can use cards like Maybank Platinum Visa or OCBC Frank or Bank of China Family Card. Just make sure you meet the minimum spend requirements for these cards and you should get cashback in excess of the service fee, thus resulting in some net savings. Now again, things can change from time to time, right? So remember to subscribe to the Telegram group to get updates if any of these cards no longer work. This year's City Payoffs promo isn't that fantastic. First of all, they increased the service fee to 2.6% and the earn rate now is only about 2 miles per dollar for tax payments and 1.6 miles per dollar for non-tax payments. To make matters worse, they actually require you to make $5,000 at least in non-tax payments at the 1.6 miles per dollar rate, which isn't fantastic before you can actually unlock the two miles per dollar rate for tax payments. But if your tax bill is quite big, right, I've calculated that overall it should actually still make sense and you should be able to get your cost per mile reduced as long as your tax payment is substantial. Of course, those who have subscribed to my Telegram group and actually made their payment when the promo just came out would have a very high chance of getting the $80 of grab voucher, which tilts the value proposition and reduces their cost per mile, right? By now, I'm not sure whether the grab vouchers have run out, so it's a bit risky to count on that. Now, whichever service that you choose to use your credit card with, at the end of the day, you have your credit card bill, which you can actually put on gyro with your HSBC EGA account. So if you put it all together, right, the three levels work like this. Level one, we apply for a payment plan with IRS, breaking our income tax into 12 month uh, payment. And then we use these services to charge our credit cards to pay for income tax. And finally, put our credit card bill onto HSBC EJ Gyro to get the 1% for the payment that we have just made. So in all, we'll get card rewards, be it cashback or miles, depending on the card we use. And then another 1% cashback for putting the card bill on HSBC EJ Gyro. And finally, because we have broken our income tax over 12 months, our money gets to sit in our bank account longer, earning us interest. But wait, there's more. And in fact, there's a level four, which I think is the best way to pay for your income tax and earn maximum rewards. But I cannot share this uh, information publicly because it will be closed faster than IRS can say. Thank you for your contribution to Nation Building. So to get this method, right, follow the link below and yeah, I will share once you meet the criteria. In fact, this method works for more than just income tax. So it's a really very good method that I think you really want to know. So yeah, follow the description box. Now for more content on how to earn more from your credit card, savings accounts, etc. and great deals, subscribe to my Telegram group and more than 15,000 people have already joined. And also check out this video where I talk about how to get high returns from your cash savings and I'll see you in that video.